The Tour de France is one of the greatest sporting events in the world, but it is as much the fans as the cyclists that make the race the spectacle it is. One fan who has become synonymous with the Tour is a man known widely as El Diablo. My name is El Diablo. You watching in cycle? Yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah! You watching in cycle? Hailing from Germany, Didi Semft has been following the Tour de France since 1993. His race ritual starts early in the morning when he sets about painting the roads. For the rest of the day, it's all about taking in the atmosphere and watching the sport live. Though he attends all of cycling's Grand Tours, the Grand Bleu Play is a race to which Didi has developed the strongest affinity. From an athletic point of view, the Tour de France is the best thing in cycling the enthusiasm of the spectators. You can be standing on the roadside with Norwegians, Australians, people from California, Canada, all over the world. You're standing between everyone, unable to communicate in the same language, but still everyone's delighted and everyone loves each other. We met up with Didi before the Grand Depart at his home just outside of Berlin. Not merely a cycling superfan, the 62-year-old is a mechanic by trade and has manufactured many bizarre bicycle-related inventions. Adjoined to his home is a museum with all of his exhibits, many of which have made it into the Guinness Book of Records. I started with the smallest usable trident in the world. I then began to gain world records, like the biggest bike on earth, twice. Also the longest bike on earth, the highest bike on earth, the biggest football bike on earth, the biggest wedding rickshaw, the biggest pedal car on earth, everything. I've constructed everything. I've gained over 17 world records. A lot of the inventions are in my museum. I've also just opened a bike garden in Radstadt in Austria. Four or five of my world records are on show there, and it's accessible to the public. Didi has always been passionate about bikes and cycling. He competed at an amateur level before deciding to follow the professional sport around the world. The idea of dressing up as Der Tufel, or the devil, came to him at the end of a race. Well, one kilometre before the finish line, there's a red triangular banner that's hung every day above the road. It's called the Red Rag of the Devil in German. It's known internationally as the Flamme Rouge, of course. This Red Rag of the Devil was the inspiration for me to become a Red Devil. In his role as the Devil, Didi Semft has travelled all over the world to spectate at cycling events. He has taken his red lycra outfit, complete with horns and trident, to such countries as Australia and Colombia. But it's the Tour de France that has always taken centre stage in his calendar. However, in 2012, he underwent brain surgery and missed the Tour for the first time in 19 years. To miss the Tour de France was very tough at first, especially for the biggest fan ever, so to speak. But I have to say, watching it on the TV for the first time in many years, I saw things I don't normally see on the roadside. It was wonderful. I'd love to be able to watch many editions of the Tour on the TV. When you're standing at the roadside, things go so fast. The helicopter overhead, 180 cyclists, 3,000 cars pass, and then it's all over. During his two-decade-long pursuit of the Grand Boucle, Didi has seen riders come and go, from Miguel Ingerain's triumph in the first tour in which he spectated to Chris Froome winning last year. He has seen thousands of riders. However, there are some cyclists he look forward to watching more than others. Jan Ulrich won the Tour de France, which was sensational for Germany. There was Marco Pantani, who hypnotised most people like no other cyclist had done before. But as a German, I love Jan Ulrich with all my heart, especially because I'm still in touch and we meet at different races each year. For me, he's unique and he will stay my favourite cyclist for the rest of my life. If there'll be a German winner again, there will be a German again. <laughs> With compatriots Marcel Kittel and Tony Martin already making waves at the Tour, there has been lots for the German superfan to cheer at this year's race.